you know when you have a feeling of a runaway mind or runaway brain it's like a a fast moving train sometimes feels more like a locomotive where it's going nowhere good and you can feel it in your body it's a little different than a panic attack but it's it's this mind racing that's it's a good word for it. well there's a tool in a process that i'd like to share with you today that i have found really helpful called the pattern interrupt and it's for those moments where we can achieve present moment awareness for what's needed in our lives. So in addition to my own experience in dealing with OCD many years ago and anxiety for many years that actually ran my life, I'm a clinician and a researcher. And for the last 17 years, I have found many tools and processes that have helped people be able to deal with some of these things. And so I wanna share this with you. The point with getting back into the present moment is so that we can truly be our own creative person so that our natural innate creativity can be on board. I love Eckhart Tolle's work and wisdom, and yet I have found it a little frustrating because the mind always wants to know how. And if we're not answering some of that, then we're not going to get all the how, but some of the how is important. So hence my sharing this process with you, because Eckhart Tolle teaches that we must be in the present moment and how important that is. And I absolutely agree. And we also need a process and a tool to help us actually get to the present moment, hence this video. <laughs> so once we get in the this, once we get in the positive moment, we can actually start positively creating for ourselves and creating less stressors that are driving us from the past or what we might be worried about in the future. I'm Tiffany Barsotti, and I'm a spiritual teacher and, and guide on the side. And it's my desire to offer you some things that could be helpful that I have found helpful and that I have found helpful with my clients. So you use this in a moment where you feel that really fast moving racing mind and you just stop for a moment, recognize the awareness is key because if we're not aware and it just does a drive by that actually creates anxiety later. And I speak about that in the anxiety checklist, but that aside, you stop and you look at your feet because your feet are actually what's in the present moment. So you look at your feet, and you ask yourself, am I safe? Am I okay? And so long as you are, most of the time we are. So you look at yourself, you look at your feet and assess for yourself, am I safe? Okay, yes, I am. You go to the basics. I have all of my needs met right now. I have food in the refrigerator. I have gas in the tank of my car. Whatever it is that you may need, I, I've got the money that I need right now. You get to the basics and you establish that, okay, I, I'm good, I'm safe. And if you aren't, this, this is a, a, a different process. So this is for when you are feeling safe. So then the moment is in your control again. Your feet are always in the present moment. That's why to look down at your feet. I've had many clients tell me that they get more pedicures after they've been looking at their feet for a while, men and women. So next is the, the identification of the next right thing to do for you in that moment. So you get present and you identify, this is the mental aspect. What do I want right now? Talk to yourself. What do I want right now? I might just want peace and calm and my mind to stop racing. Okay, well, the, the reason that the mind is racing is because there may be a bunch of thoughts that have just done this locomotive kind of like sped up. And so coming into the present moment, you can breathe and then state what's the next, just the very next thing that needs to be done. It's like a chunking down process. 
The next thing you want to assess is why do you want it? The why is the emotional piece. And the emotions are really the gunpowder to our creating. So that's an essential. So you get with, all right, what do I want? I, I actually want to make a meal because I'm hungry. Okay. So you go and you set out and, and what are the steps that are needed to make a meal or go feed yourself if that's what's needed. Then make, a, make the statement of why I want this. Well, I want this because I need to feed my body. I need fuel. I, I need to feel good again. I need to feel grounded. All of those things. And food is a is one of these survival things that is also good. So it's a good example, but you could have a million examples here. So now that you know that you're safe and you've identified what you want and why you want it, don't allow yourself to go into how will this happen? And those usually come up with bigger topics. Like I, I need $10,000 or I need a million dollars or you know whatever, these, these things are, are sometimes too big for our minds to grab, grasp a hold of. So the, hence this ch chunking down process. The how is really not our job. What is our job is to identify what we want and why we want it. The what is the mind element. So it, we need to know what the what is and the why is the emotional part. So those two things coupled together have so much power. And these are based in ancient teachings. It's like, it's the, the quintessential beginning of our being creative. It will also, if you go into the how, uh, one of my friends describes this as the how hole, and it, it's like a vortex downward. And what will start to happen is we'll start to micromanage different things. And that gets us into a control element. And, and it's, it's another opportunity for mind racing. So just you're, you're following the next right thing and your inspiration for that moment. What is the next thing that you want to go do or that you even need to go do? Follow your gut and follow your heart. This present moment creates the next present moment. So this is why we want to catch ourselves out of that mind racing, ground ourselves, look at our feet, and then be able to start making choices. That mind racing is because there's too many choices that have come in and we actually haven't chosen one. So just get clear on what the next one thing is to do and then build from there. It really is a recipe for such ease and grace in our lives. So we want to get deliberate about this and be purposeful. And also in the midst of it, if there's any kind of unrest or wobbling, just say thank you. Thank you to the whole experience. Thank you for this mind racing opportunity so that I can get clear on what it is I do want immediately coming into a thank you state, a gratitude state starts to help calm the body mind. And then we can go back into a creative element. So it's really very, very handy. A question to ask yourself is what is not being present actually costing you? It almost costs for me, it was almost every aspect where my relationships suffered, my body mind suffered. And worst of all, I wasn't in my own creative genius. And that's really a unique characteristic for all of us. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, are to go through these steps and to review, catch yourself in the awareness that your mind is racing. Stop in that moment, look down at your feet. Your feet are always in the present moment. Identify the fact that your mind is doing this racing and you wanna even thank yourself for the awareness of that. Then identify that you're safe and what it is you want next. What is it that you want or need? I use the example of sometimes we actually need food in order to feel grounded. 
but you you may be in the midst of a creative project and it's just feeling so much or business decisions or any kind of decision making and it feels like too much so I just want to chunk it down identifying the what and the why the why is the emotional piece we usually want something because that we think in the creating of it we're actually going to feel better that's actually from Abraham Hicks, who I really appreciate. So this grounding into the present moment helps us to identify, and it interrupts that pattern that the brain and the mind get in. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to use these steps and get yourself into the present moment. I use these steps all the time myself. And I know they're effective. The reason that we want to do this is so that we can have the extra expression of being our whole true self. So thank you for doing this. Because as you do this, you actually help the world be a better place. It's really true. As we each do our work, we are helping the whole collective. So thank you. I'm Tiffany Barsotti a teacher and a guide on the side. I am grateful that you are here listening and taking action. And the, tr the world truly does need all hands on deck right now, conscious hands on deck right now. So here we go. Let's have fun with this and offer yourself some loving grace. And if there's more information or more resources you need, there's plenty on my website, healandthrive.com. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the future somehow. Hopefully our paths will cross. Thank you.